After we mow, this is an area that we like to rake up. We make our own uh, hay out of the grass clippings. I'll show you the um, hay rack that we use. But we just, this, is, this area seems to grow really tall and thick here between us and our neighbors. But we really like to take all this, rake it up, put it over on the hay rack and let it dry and then we'll store it in gunny sacks and that's the hay that we use for nest boxes for the rabbits or the chickens. It's a real soft hay that way. You don't have a lot of stems and it's just dried grass and it works really good. Here's the hay rack that we use. Anytime we mow we'll pick up all the grass clippings and just dry them on this hay rack. This is one of the arona bushes we're going to plant. And we're just digging a good sized hole. And we're taking the dirt, we broke it up real small, and then added in compost. And we're going to plant right in that. Here's some of that grass that we dried to make our hay. And we're using it as mulch today when we get the berries planted. Just put it around there, wet it down, and it works really nice to keep the weeds down. And we don't have to buy hay, and we don't have to buy mulch. Here's the hole punch that he made. And we'll just take these, punch the hole in it, and then we'll write on the lid the variety. And these were used because we don't reuse when we can. We just use them once and then we just take them and recycle. This is how we're attaching these tags to the fence. This is C clip pliers. And these are the C-clips. This is what we can build rabbit cages with. Got the blackberries planted, so that's what we're marking is the variety. This one's Chester, and then this one is Apache. And there was a variety pack from Baker Creek. Get back. That's loud. That was loud, wasn't it? Sounds like a jet. Mm.